Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about quadrangular space. So what exactly is quadrangular space and where it is located? What is the boundary and its content? That is what is important for us. So quadrangular space where it is located? It is not it is related with axilla, not in the anterior side. It is present towards the posterior side. So from posterior, if you will come here, first bone that we are going to see here is what we are trying to draw is scapula. On the lateral side of it, it is articulating with the humerus. So this is what is diagrammatic representation of humerus. The two bones, scapula, humerus. Now we will have an orientation of this diagram. It is on the medial side is scapula, on the lateral side is humerus, superiorly and this is what is inferiorly. Now what are the muscles which is connecting it? Now from here, that is the lateral border of scapula towards lesser tubercle is teres minor, then below that is teres major. From infraglenoid tubercle, lower down, the muscle which is extended is long head of triceps. So here what we are going to see is three spaces are visualized here. This one is quadrangular space. This is what is upper triangular space and this is what is lower triangular space. We will concentrate on the quadrangular space. First thing is what is the boundary of quadrangular space. So when we are seeing the boundary we have to go what is present superiorly, what is present inferiorly, what is medially and laterally. As we go by this, first term what is present here, this one was teres minor, inferiorly this one is teres major. Here the point is to be remembered, minor is above, minor is above, major is below. Minor can sit on the major, children can sit on the adult, but vice versa is not true. So you have to remember this minor and major. Then what is present medially is long head of triceps. And laterally it is humerus. Which part of the humerus? It is surgical neck of the humerus. So you have to remember this. Surgical neck. Now, this was about the boundary. But superiorly if you will go, the teres minor, along with the teres minor, if you will consider these three fingers, the structure of teres minor, then after the teres minor, the second structure that is present is capsule of shoulder joint. And then after that is subscapularis. So it is capsule and subscapularis muscle. So superiorly there are three structures, teres minor, capsule and subscapularis. Teres major is inferiorly and then so on. Now coming to the content. What is the content of this space? As we can see here, what I am representing with the green is the three structures I have represented. The three are namely axillary nerve which is related with the surgical neck, then is posterior circumflex, circumflex means winding around, winding around what? Humerus, so it is humeral artery and then after it is posterior circumflex humeral vein. So these are the three content. <coughs> Question can be asked from the boundary, from the content, three contents to the four content will be the exception and about the boundaries, we can see the boundaries here. Hopefully it helps. Thank you.